Good evening, everyone. We're back here at Streetlight at 515 um, South Division. Um, and we are on episode 17. Man, this has been a lion of Jesus Shorts. Um, and uh, I hope you're enjoying them. I'm going to try and keep it to um, a reasonable time frame. I'll do the best I can. Um, and uh, we're going to go. We're going to start. Um, therefore, what is it therefore? Um, which is when we see the word therefore, it's almost like a transition from one statement to another. We need to understand what that transition is about. Matthew 3, verse 8. Therefore, produce fruit worthy of repentance. And do not think that you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father, for I tell you, and from these, these stones, um, God can raise up children for Abraham. In these two verses, uh, God is saying, Therefore, if you do not do the task that I have given you, uh, which is to repent and speak the gospel and be a witness, I will have these stones do it. He's saying, I don't need you. I want to use you because I love you. He said, I want you, I don't want you to just be mannequins standing in the corner while I do all the work. Um, he said, therefore, because I have made you and I have given you this, this ability, do it. Therefore, in this case, therefore is an or else moment. Ah, okay. Matthew 6, 9. Therefore, pray in this way, our Father in heaven, sanctified or holy be your name. In this case, he is using it to say, pay attention. This is important. He's saying, and what is important? Jesus had, if you go to... Uh, Luke chapter 11, I think it is, and 11 and 18. In those three, he gives you the three criteria on how to make a prayer to God that is honoring to God. And the first thing he starts with is, he's our Father. That's why Jesus said, our Father in, who art in heaven, because he is our Father. And then he said, talk to him as a friend, because that's what he wants. He wants to be your friend. But when you finish, just remember that everything you said he will be our judge. So we talk to him as father, or we, we address him as father, giving him the respect he deserves. Then, then we talk to him as friend, and then we understand when we're talking to him to be that respect requires um, the fact that he is going to one day judge us. Matthew 6.22, the eye is the lamp under the body. Therefore, therefore, if your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. If your eye is bad, your body will be full of darkness. If, therefore, the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? What is he talking about? If, if, if your eye is constantly searching, and he's not really talking about your eye. He's saying if your eye is constantly ser searching for evil, that that corrupts your soul, your spirit, now your your soul, your mind, and then it, your mind will eventually corrupt your spirit, and you will become dark. That's why it says um, to pluck it out. But to pluck it out is not um, does not mean to take an eye a knife and gouge it out. Everything on the right side is a re when they use the word term right. Um, Jesus sits at the right hand of God. The right to God is the power of God. So Jesus is the power of his Father. Um, our right eye, and it's funny because I was watching Israel News, and I know I'm going over, but I was watching Israel, Israel News, um, and they were talking about a woman who lived on the southern border by Gaza, and they come under in tunnels, and they steal the, the children, and they and they torture them and they drag them behind the cars, dead, their dead bodies, to torture the parents on the other side. Um, and um, she said she was devastated. All she wanted was her son's body back so she could bury him. And she said, because he had such a good right eye. And I thought, I jumped out of my seat and I said, that is so cool because I know what that means. It means that he, his spirit was so pure that she, that she said he had a good right eye. And that's what it meant. So anyway. Um, it's just, 
In order for us to understand all these things that Jesus talked about, we really have to understand Jewish culture and the idioms that, that they were there. So anyway, uh, if you want to see more, um, show, give your friends the streetlightgr.com um, slash Facebook or at YouTube, streetlightgr Bible study 4006. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a good night.